Okay guys, now let's discuss about minerals. Minerals is defined as a naturally occurring and crystalline form, inorganic elements or compounds with a specific physical and chemical properties. Um, mineralogy is the study of minerals. So now how will we be able to identify a certain mineral? Of course, we'll be dealing with the, we'll be able to identify it based on its properties. The first one is what we call the color. So, do you think that the color is considered to be the major or just the least property upon identifying a mineral? To give you an answer, it is considered to be the least property upon identifying a mineral because of the presence of impurities if you will see this kind of minerals over here there are different other colors which is present right next one is what we call the strick the strick is a color of a minerals powder okay so uh, if we will be taking a certain portion of this if we will be holding a this mineral and we will be rubbing on it on the surface of the unglazed porcelain over here okay and of course by doing that, we will be observing the color of its marks. So that is what we call the strict test. The next one is what we call the luster. The luster is how the mineral surface reflects light. It could be a metallic form or it could be a non-metallic form. Okay, next one. It could be a hardness. The hardness is defined as the ability of a mineral to resist being scratched. I prepared an illustration over here for you to be able to understand it clearly. Uh, we have what we call the Muhammad's hardest scale. Okay, This is from the softest mineral, which is from 1, up to 10, which is up to the hardest mineral. For the talc, okay, for the talc, it is considered to be a powder, it is in powdered form and it is usually used for a combination with a combination of a cornstarch widely used for baby powder. So this is commercially been used, okay? Uh, the next one is what we call the gypsum. For the gypsum, it is a soft sulfate mineral, okay, that usually composed of calcium sulfate dehydrate and usually used for fertilizers plasters and wall boards okay the next one is what we call the calcite for the calcite it is a carbonated mineral it contains calcium it also contains carbon also oxygen and this crystal helps to clear negative energy and brings increase in a good vibration next one is what we call the fluoride for the fluorite, it is also called as a fluor spar. Okay, it is a form of halide minerals that contains calcium and fluoride. It is usually used for absorbs and neutralizes negative energy and stress. So, for now, we will be needing fluorite because of this uh, quarantine. Next one is what we call the apatite. Okay, for the apatite. It is in under the phosphate mineral. It is a phosphate mineral, okay? And it is usually used for fertilizers uh, that usually used for uh, commercially for acids and chemicals as well. Okay, for uh, the next one is what we call the orthoclase or what we call the uh, orthoclase feldspar, okay? Uh, technically, it is used for manufacturing glasses, ceramics, such as porcelains. And the next one is what we call the quartz. Okay, for the quartz, it contains usually silicons and oxygen atoms, and usually used for sand and electronic devices and accessories. Okay, that's why there is a brand which is called quartz. Diba? And then, of course, the next one is what we call the topaz. Topo topaz is a uh, silicate mineral that you usually use for gemstones, for jewelry. Okay, and then next one is what we call the corundum. For corundum, uh, it is a rock-forming mineral that usually it's a gem. Uh, one good example for this one is usually for rubies and sapphires. Next one is what we call, of course, it is considered to be the hardest uh, mineral. And it is a diamond. 
for it is a rock forming mineral this diamond is a rock forming uh, mineral it is usually used for jewelry and it's also used for cuts grilled and uh, grind and also for dwelling uh, other materials right and also for decorative items as well so this is uh, I hope you will be familiar with Muhammad's harness scale okay Next one, let's proceed to the next properties. We have what we call the fracture and the cleavage. For the fracture and the cleavage, it is a for the fracture, it is a mineral breaks unevenly or irregularly. So as you can see on the shapes and sizes, it's it's been cut unevenly. For the cleavage, it is a tendency, it is a tendency of a mineral to break evenly along its weakest plane. So the difference between uh, the two, it's about the, the evenly and evenly i hope that you be familiar with this one next one is the crystal crystal form some minerals tends to form crystals that aids in the identification of a mineral so as you can see on this type of crystal we could easily identify this kind of mineral is okay next one specific gravity uh this is a um it, we will be able to identify it based on a specific gravity, the ratio of the density or what we call the weight of the, the mineral to the density of water. So we will be sinking in or we will be placing the mineral on the water. So we'll be able to identify it based on the density itself. Next one, uh, there are also other um, properties upon identifying minerals. We have... Tenacity, it is considered to be the toughness or resistance of breaking or deforming. Oh, specifically, this one, uh, the good example for this one is the Muhammad's hardest scale. Of course, from the softest to hardest, right? So the hardest is considered to be the diamond, while the softest is what we call the talc. So based on tenacity, how, how tough it is. Next one is also the other. Uh, there are also unwanted wanted other such as uh, one good example is what we call the sulfur uh, attraction to magnets uh, one good example is a magnetite by the way this is an illustration of a magnetite is that there is a attraction to metals right and then of course next one is fluorescence uh, fluorite it usually glows in uh, ultraviolet reactivity uh, it's the one good example is what we call the calcite so as you can see here, we have hydrochloric acid over here. We just place some drops over here in this mineral. And there is a presence of bubbles. Okay, so that will be our topic for mineral.